AFLNT is celebrating 70 years in Alice Springs. We're looking at the history and how far we've come. Soldiers stationed in Alice during World War II organised the first competition. The Army boys left, but the desire for AFL remained. Casual kick-arounds turned into the setting up of the Centralian Football Association in 1947. Three teams, the Federals, the Rovers and the Pioneers, kicked off the first ever season on the 3rd of August 1947. We're going to have trouble with those two all day. Hayes oh, goes around a couple, has a bounce, gets out of the middle, and just as he's tackled, gets the ball away. Delivers it to the Pioneers, Rod Duckford. All of a sudden, Pioneers are making space uh, and creating opportunities uh, late in this quarter. Chance now for Hayes. Can he pick it up? He does. He does, gets tackled, though. Another chance here. Shot around the corner from Paris. Oh, the mark's been taken by Peter Lake in the goal square. Bad angle, though. Goes backwards and finds Weedy Hayes. Hayes is about uh, 20 metres out from goal, straight in front, and that was some quick work and create uh, good opportunity creating by Pioneers. Hayes' kick oh, straight good. through, and Pioneers are back in this game. We've got a grand final on our hands as they go to five goals, 9.39, to South, eight goals, 4.52.
Yeah, McCormack now at half forward. He's calling blokes around. Now he drives the ball long. He's looking for his teammates here. It's Federals and Monats at the back. Uh, the umpire's paid a free kick there for a push in the back. And it'll go to number two. And that, and that is Steen. Yes, as we see, Williams. Williams coming in now. He's 20 metres out directly in front. Kick towards the northern end. Comes in. Hops it straight over the goal umpire's head. They're all the pioneer players like it. They get the first score of the match. They take a one goal lead to Federal nil yet to score. The free kick is taken by Jermaine Sims. He decides the handball to Talbot, who launches a monster kick inside the 50. It's taken, though, by Nathan Douglas for Ginger Porter. He handballs out towards the boundary line. Sherman Spencer's there. Oh. He does well from right on the boundary line. If he kicks this to Sherman, I don't know. He can't. And given a free kick to the opposition. So Derek Ronson from Ginger Porter is the recipient of this free kick. And they'll be hoping he's all right. He's still got his wits about him. He looks fine. And he's waving the arm for someone to make a lead. He decides to bomb it long into the square. Darren Young underneath it. He punches it over the back. It favoured Yundamu, but then it was stolen by Derek Davis. He tries to run away, but the umpire calls it back to Yundamu free kick. Yeah, play definitely held while not in possession. So the umpire's coming into play. He goes out wide and he finds Blewett. Blewett, he plays on. He goes down looking for Wilmot. Wilmot's got the bearded one and Campbell to beat. Too tall, too strong. Wilmot, what can he do? He goes down the line looking for Ishmael Palmer. In front position is Dylan oh. Measures. He was pushed in the back. Free kick Dylan Measures against Ishmael Palmer. Measures, what can he do now? He goes, he's got Seedon over the top. He elects to go there. He sets him up. He sets him a bit of a task, but Seedon's up to the challenge. He takes a mark in front of Nathan Douglas. He goes back inside looking for BMAC. Nice mark, a fingertip being grabbed there by Bradley McMasters. He's got close across the angles. He gives a good lead, but he's got to stop and prop and give the defence half a chance. The ball's in the middle of the ground. Best name on the ground in Roberts. He gets a handball in Joe Roberts. Close. He steals it out of there like a thief in the night. He goes looking for Ryan Ricey Mallard. He taps it onto the speedster from Gigi Porter. Alice. Dylan, he had the shot on goal. Touched on the line. Touched on the last line of defence. And well done there in the last line of defence there by... That was James Taylor there by Federal. Those days were tough, playing on dusty and rocky fields with no shade and no seating. But the games carried on with enthusiasm. The early days of Territory football saw some great interleague clashes between Darwin and Alice teams. Alice beat Darwin just once in 1952 on the brand new Anzac Oval, finally a grass Oval, the only one in the Northern Territory at the time. The passion for AFL in the NT was certainly clear. 